And we are underway with our first match of the night here at Battle of the Bulldogs, Decatur, Alabama, our fundraiser for the Priceville City Recreation Association. Kicking things off with a five-person scramble match and right off the bat, the two big men squaring off. And Brennan Cole getting in the way here. Oh! And Brayden Toon and Ken Dang not wasting any time whatsoever laying out Brennan Cole for getting in the way. Oh. Marcus Dillon apparently not watching what's just going on here. You hear him here? Marcus Dillon recalling the history here between himself and Brayden Toon. These two have been up and down the roads, battling it out for years. Know each other so well. <laughs> Rolando in the corner. He's going to take his time. Let everyone battle it out here. Step up. Enziguri into a German suplex. And just like that, Brayden Tune and Kim Dang back head to head. Rolando has picked his spot now. Miami Ice, the face of the NWA, Billy Corgan's favorite wrestler. <laughs> Gonna teach the two big Stop men a couple dance moves here. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. There we go. Great technique from Braden Toon. Is Ken gonna? No! Ken Dang not having any of it. Ken Dang is focused, of course. Five-person scramble match. The first person to pick up a pinfall or submission here will walk away the victor. Kicking off action hot here tonight in the beautiful city of Decatur, Alabama. Follow a slam there from Ken Dang. In comes the Huntsville Hooligan, Brennan Cole. Brennan, of course, previously aligned himself with the investment Marcus Dillon as the intern, associate, whatever you may call it. Had a string of bad luck and recently formed his own Green Street Posse. Finally had his first first taste of victory. Oh, just got a taste of that middle turn. Braden Toon double knees to the back of the head and Braden Toon is fired up, but right behind him, Marcus Dillon. Braden blocks, delivers a couple of rights. Dylan, oh, stepping on the toes and gouging the eyes, now sends Braden Toon off the rope. Braden ducks. And a huge spear from the investment, Marcus Dillon. It could be a short night here. No. Marcus Dillon, not someone who gets paid by the hour. He's looking to get in, pick up a quick victory, and get back home. Oh, calling for the pile driver here. Can the investment pull it off? Of course, conspicuous by her absence. No appearance from Soraya Sabre here tonight. The investor of Marcus Dillon. Spinning back fist from Braden Toon sends Marcus Dillon to the floor. Meanwhile, on the outside, Kim Dang. Brennan Cole squaring off. In comes Rolando back into the ring. Into the turnbuckle. Brady Toon has his eyes set on something. No, legs swept. Brought outside the ring by the investment Marcus Dillon, who now is pounding away on unkillable Braden Toon. Ken Dang joining in on the party here, it seems. Braden sent into the post. Brennan Cole, what? Oh, Brennan Cole was going for a dive. Baseball slide through the bottom rope. And a right hand to Ken Dang, who is not too pleased here. Brennan, buddy, I hope you got a ride. <laughs> Brennan Cole trying to calm down Ken Dang. Ken is incensed here. A diving cross body from out of nowhere from Rolando Perez. Crashing down from that top turnbuckle. Let's go! I was about to say the other four men unaware, but it seems like Marcus Dillon had it scouted. Marcus Dillon watching 
on from the outside, manages to avoid, and now it's Marcus Dillon's game to win. You don't, you don't think. Marcus Dillon, not, uh, not someone known for his high-risk offense, going for a dive. Apparently not. Marcus Dillon pumping the brakes and uh, having a little word with the fan. Oh my, the athleticism of Braden Toon there. That vertical leap to jump up and just kick the side of the head of Marcus Dillon. And Braden has him right where he wants him. Suicide dive. An unkillable Braden Toon is fired up now, folks. Feeding off the energy here. And the crowd in attendance in Decatur, Alabama. Sending Marcus Dillon back into the ring. And again, these two know each other oh so well. For years, they've been up and down the roads battling it out. Braden. Crossbody splash. Brendan Cole sneaking from behind. Can he sneak away with a victory? Oh! Clocked with that elbow and eats an uppercut. Springboard ends a Gury sending Brennan, oh, I say sending Brennan Cole to the outside, but Brennan rolled back into the middle rope. What's Braden have in mind here? He has Rolando hooked. Oh, oh look at the strength of Braden too, using Rolando Perez as a weapon. Dropping him on oh, running shooting star press from Braden Toon and Ken Dang breaks it up just in time. I will never not be impressed by the sheer athleticism from Braden Toon. One of the best young athletes in the New South locker room and all across the Southeast in independent wrestling as a whole. Ken and Braden battling now. Did not see Rolando Perez. Double drop kick. Two for the price of one from Perez in a German suplex. Another. Rolando Perez is turning the River City into Suplex City here tonight. Rolando lands on his feet, staggers a bit, connects. In comes Kim Dang, eats a right hand. And Rolando packs a pretty punch here. Now on the shoulders of Kim Dang, gonna try to choke out his opponent. Kim doing his best to fight out. Using that size to his advantage. He slings Rolando Perez off, but eats the middle turnbuckle with that drop kick. It's all Perez now. Chavez in, basement drop kick into the corner. Going for one more, no, going for a cannonball and he connects. Brendan Cole looking to seize the opportunity here. Looking to call his shot, but eats a DDT, the center of the ring, leg hooked. Marcus Dillon manages to make it over, <laughs> looking to steal the victory for himself. What are you doing? This is not you. No, I'm winning this. Do you know who I am? You know Little, uh, I don't care breakdown in communication here you between Rolando and Marcus. Every man for, oh, ew. The old uh, snot rocket from the investment. Of course, every man for himself here tonight. First person to secure a pinfall or submission will walk away your victor here in the scramble. Rolando fired up after that. Who can blame him? These two now are brawling their way to the back in the backstage area. Meanwhile, in the ring, Kim Dang has Braden Toon right where he wants him. Spinning back elbow and what does he have? Not going for the claw, but no blocks. Braden catches him, rolls him through. Step up into Yuri once again. And now 
Ken Dang on the shoulders of Braden Toon and brought down Samoan drop. This could be Braden's moment. Double springboard moonsault from the corner. And now he has him hooked to that rings of Saturn. Ken Dang. That frame of Ken Dang not allowing that other arm to be hooked. Braden crafty nonetheless. Braden tries to break it up, but no. Braden Toon is your winner here. Ken Dang taps out. And Braden picks up that first big win that he has had in quite some time. The losing streak is over. And you see the look of determination on Braden's face here. It says it all. May this be the start of a glorious new chapter of the unkillable one, Braden Toon.